Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I have an article which I guess I should have done last week which would have prepared it for um, this week because yesterday was Easter which I completely forgot. <laughs> I'm sorry I just forgot that yesterday was Easter and last week I should have done this so anyway today I have an interesting article um, it is, it is a simple article to read. It is about um, Easter traditions in the USA. So if you can please pause this video, obviously uh, read it, and I will tell you about some of my traditions uh, for Easter. So please pause this video right now. So as you can see, we actually have kind of, I guess, goofy traditions if you want to say that um for example the easter bunny yes uh, if you read if you read it you would know why we have the easter bunny but yes i remember doing a lot of stuff with easter bunnies and i remember getting my picture taken with the easter bunny when i was a little 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 kid yeah <laughs> and yes obviously the candy, the peeps, that's how you spell, pronounce it, the peep candy, little marshmallow in like, well the original peeps are like this big, and they're marshmallows, and they're covered with sugar, so obviously it's very healthy for you, and shaped in a little bird, yellow, the original yellow is always the best, but yeah, I remember that, the big chocolate Easter egg bunnies and everything, Easter egg hunts, I remember that so well. I don't even remember how young I was when I had my first Easter egg hunt, but it was, I was so, so small, maybe like two, three years old was my first Easter egg hunt, I don't remember, and dyeing the Easter eggs, yes, I remember that well, but, and we always used, we never used actual paint to dye your Easter eggs, we always used these tablets, which are like, the company is like 60 years old. It was always, I mean, it didn't matter how, what decade it is, the original painting of the Easter uh, eggs was always these little tiny tablets that you dip in water and would turn the water a color and you would take the, this little, like, wire and you just take the wire, you put it around the egg and you just dump it in the water you take it out and it dries and it's like a watercolor or something no now they have all these paints and glitter and stuff but no the original is you dip it in the water that's what it is that's the original egg um ham is obviously another real tradition everybody has a ham i we eat lamb because i hate ham but it's a spiral ham with pineapple glaze on the outside that's like how why that is i don't know but and they actually make it special for easter where it like they cut it so it's like the spiral that goes around don't ask me why but that's the tradition so what are your traditions um as i know most people in in ukraine are or orth, orthodox so what exactly are your traditions i know in america it's morning mass at church and then probably like a lunch and then obviously easter dinner but what are yours as i noticed looking through facebook and and vika i noticed all uh, there were masses early in the morning but then also late at night for a lot of people so it's what are your traditions do you i know everybody greets you with the that classic saying I guess in English, Christ is risen, and everybody says, yes, Christ, he has risen or something. In America, we don't say that at all. Actually, we don't, I don't even think we have like a true greeting. It's like, Happy Easter, and that's it. But we, we don't have any formal Christ has risen today or anything like that, no. Simple, Happy Easter, and that's it. <laughs> much, much more different. So what are all your traditions Comment below and tell me. I thought that would be very interesting. I know you have Easter cake. We don't have that. And I know a lot of people say they have Easter baskets. 
but in America, Easter basket is something different. It's actually something for a kid. I used to get Easter baskets filled with candy and chocolate. So yeah, <laughs> very different. So I would like to know what are yours in English, preferably, so you can practice your English. If not in Ukrainian, it's fine. <laughs> okay, have a great day. See you next week. Bye-bye.